This experiment is a good way of introducing the topic of dissolving. It can be quite difficult to make dissolving exciting because children are very familiar with water as a solvent. They're used to sugar and salt dissolving and disappearing. This makes it a much more exciting and a good way of getting them involved and interested in the topic. It's also a good introduction to evaporation later on in years five and six. What I want to show you, Mohammed, is a couple of dissolving. First of all, a dissolving that the children will have seen many times before, sugar dissolving in water. But then I want you to show them a dissolving they haven't seen before, polystyrene dissolving in nail varnish remover. I find a polystyrene cut works well. The nail varnish remover needs to be based on acetone and it mustn't have water in it. If you have difficulty finding a nail varnish like that, you can buy um, acetone from the chemist. Yeah. Get a small bottle for about a pound. So first of all, I want you to dissolve some sugar in water, a spoonful of sugar in this glass of water here. I've made the water a bit hot so that it dissolves more quickly. And you'll also find, of course, that if you stir it, it dissolves more quickly as well. It won't take long before the sugar disappears. And that's important to get the distinction between melting and dissolving. Melting requires heat. This would dissolve in cold water. What's happened is that the sugar has disappeared. Now, it's difficult to get the kids excited about that because they're so familiar with water as a solvent. Yeah. They know that although it seems to have disappeared, it's still there. They know it would taste sweet. What I want you to do now is to pour some nail varnish remover into that cup, about a centimetre in the cup. Okay. And you should find that the polystyrene dissolves in the nail varnish remover. This is something that the children won't have seen and they should find much more exciting. You can hear that fizzing away. Wow. Be a little bit careful with nail varnish remover. It will dissolve the varnish on yeah. a wooden table, for example. If you put that into the nail varnish remover and pull it out again, you can actually see the nail varnish remover breaking the polystyrene into smaller and smaller particles. Those particles are unbelievably small. You can see it much better there than you can sugar dissolving in water. That's very quick as well. Good, isn't it? Breaks it into incredibly tiny particles. And the reason we can't see those particles is because they're so amazingly small. You know those ridges you've got on your fingers that give you a fingerprint? If you had one of these particles at the bottom of one of those ridges, it would look up to the top of the ridge as if it was Mount Everest. The polystyrene hasn't disappeared, it's still there, you just can't see it. I also use this as a good introduction to evaporation. If you were to pour this salty, this sugary water yeah. onto a plate, after about a week the water would evaporate, but it does take a long time. Other solvents evaporate more quickly. You know, if you put perfume on your wrist, yeah. it'll evaporate almost immediately. Yeah. Similarly, that nail varnish remover will evaporate in about half an hour. Right. So you can look at evaporation, it'll leave behind the polystyrene in exactly the same way as the water would evaporate, leaving behind the sugar. I hope that'll be useful for your class. Mm -hmm.